Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we're in Trelissic Gardens. So we've come to Trelissic today for a walk around the gardens. It's a National Trust property. Plenty of parking here at Trelissic. They've got overflow car parks as well. It's five pounds to park your car. It's free for National Trust members. You can go for a lovely walk from Trelissic here, but if you want to go around the gardens, then you will have to pay to get in. Trelissic is on the river fowl near Truro. Trelissic Gardens is one of the National Trust's absolute crown jewels in Cornwall. Hence it's so popular. To get here early. <laughs> so, is Cornwall full of spring gardens? We thought we'd test this theory. We've come to Trelissic today. It is spring. As you can see, the wisteria is in full bloom beside me here. We're going to plan a return visit during autumn and winter just to see if there's something to see here all year. So as you come through the main entrance here, yeah, there's red roaded engines white azalea and look at this complete border of azaleas let's go and have a closer look there's so many blooms to look at you do get a kind of sense of Chelsea so our soil conditions in Cornwall are perfect for azaleas and rhododendrons they have a slight tendency towards acid soils. So we'll just get a glimpse of the house today. The front is covered in scaffolding. The house is now open so we'll do that at Christmas. We'll come back in the winter and find the Christmas tree. I wonder where they put it. Fantastic pyrus. New leaf always gives such a good display. You'd think it was almost like a flower. Looks like we're too early for the bees. I am trying on macro to capture a bee. <laughs> I don't know how these nature... Well, they must have a much better camera than us, but they must have spent hours just trying to capture one little scene. He's disappeared. <laughs> Covered in pollen. Drop of sunshine does the world a good, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? Tennis court. Fancy a game of tennis? Anyone for tennis? New balls, please. It's mid-May here in Cornwall and the bluebells are still out. They've given a fantastic display this year. Quite delicate, aren't Is they? Is that Solomon's seal? I think so. Pretty. 
All the way down. Tree ferns just unraveling. They are like something from a far gone era. Fantastic. Love them. Hello, and welcome to Gardener's World. That doesn't work. No. You haven't told us what they are. Flowers. <laughs> and and <stuff>. trees. <laughs> Flowers and trees and stuff. <laughs> Tree. Flower. So, I've shown you trees, I've shown you flowers. Now we have a bush. <laughs> so I think you can say in spring this garden has a treat round every corner. There's a different colour rhododendron, azalea, camellia. It's definitely a good spring garden. Now, this is a really late camellia, so if you want one that isn't going to get frosted, we need to find the name. No, too far away from the house. I think they only put labels on the ones near the house. Such a delicate yellowy colour. Robin. So we've come over the bridge now. I always think of this side of Trillisic as being more like a parkland, less of a garden. Still very stunning parkland, isn't it? It's still beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what have you found? I think it's a toilet paper tree. <laughs> I think it's called the paper, paper handkerchief tree, isn't it? Now why would it be called that? Because it looks like loads of paper hankies. Did I really have to explain that one to you? Yeah. Yeah. Really pungent smell. It's not pleasant. It's, it's, it's like foxweed. It doesn't smell very nice, I must say. And here's the orchard. Let's go and have a look at the press up the top there. Wow, so what's this then? It's a cider press, isn't it? A cider press? Yeah. Not no. an apple press, you don't press cider. We could do, I suppose, but it would be a bit messy. I it's a bit probably... like putting toast in a toaster, isn't it? You don't put toast in a toaster, you put bread in a toaster. Boom, boom. <laughs> so how does it work? Well, you've got this massive great screw. Yes. And then you've got the pressy thing. <laughs> the pressy thing. And then you turn the big handle-y thing. Yeah. And the pressy thing presses down on the apples. The apple things. The apple things. Oh, look, I've got a shoot. And then all the juicy stuff comes out. Must have done. Come out there. Yeah. And that's what it is. You don't really care so long as you get to drink the cider, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Look at this old tree covered. Boughs and branches are covered in lichen. Decked in flowers. I don't think they manage it as a proper orchard, but what a fantastic old tree. So the garden nearer the house is all about impact, blooms, colour, like nature's fireworks. This side is more about shape, form, tranquillity. Still is beautiful. So you've got the broad green leaves of the magnolia, the beautiful red of the, well must be an acer of some sort, and behind that frothy green and at the very back, a fir tree. Oh, he's posing. <laughs> I didn't see him. <laughs> Hello, down there. <laughs> Some vanilla. Oh, 
magnolias are still out. A beautiful display. look like um, either agapanthus or onion flowers, some sort of onion family, aren't they? Oh, it's exciting. Irises are about to come out. Aquilegia, granny's bonnets. It's feel lovely. A tickly. So even the grasses are giving a bit of a display, aren't they? Oh. <laughs> So that's Trilisic in the spring, rhododendrons, azalea, colour everywhere. Fantastic today, but yeah, it'd be great to come back different times of the year and have a good old look, see what's going on. So we've come to find out if Trilisic is more than just a spring garden. We visited last May. We had a lovely time in May, didn't we? Loads flowers, of flowers everywhere. Out, yeah. <laughs> Autumn, they have the apple press going tasted some as well it was very nice that was brilliant fun and Christmas it looked divine oh the house was all decorated with loads of Christmas trees it was beautiful a woodland walk with the trees lit from underneath it was amazing and spring yeah, we've seen snowdrops and daffodils haven't we beautiful absolutely stunning so is Trilisic worth it four seasons of the year to me it is yeah I would recommend it 10 out of 10